Hey everyone, welcome back. And today's episode is about mental health and how my mental health has affected my weight loss journey and all of it um, pretty much. Um, so I'm going to talk about a lot about that because my mental health has taken a toll on me a little because of it. And that's why I haven't been able to get up off my bed or get up off the couch and go work out because I have a real problem with my mental health it's not a problem it's something i want to deal with i want to try to get better at but i can't i'm having a hard time but before i start um please hit that subscribe button notification button and please come and listen to this episode on my podcast and everything like that i know that i haven't been posting but i did say every two weeks or every three weeks that i will be putting an episode up because then i'll have things to talk about and everything like that but thank you for listening and thank you for watching. But um, like I said, let's get started. So um, my mental health has been like going way down like completely. Um, I haven't been really able to deal with it. Like I just been sleeping. I've been up all night, um, things like that, because I just my mind just won't shut down. Like I made a like um one thing that i wanted to do this year was i've seen a lot of people do it is a vision board and i made one and I, if i can i will post it on my video on this video if you want to check it out and everything go check out the video but i have just been like uh, just so much stuff has gone on in the last almost year with me and my children to my family and everything and it's just been really hectic like um we have a dog who is 12 years old. He's a chocolate lab. We've had him for a very long time. Um, he's very, very, very tight with the family. Um, the family just adores him and loves him, but he's not doing so well. So, um, yeah, so he's like 12 years old. So probably in the next year or so, he might not be around anymore. And it's really upsetting. But at the same time, he was that dog that we could count, like I could count on and go up to. And he's been... He's, he's a very cuddly kind of dog, and he's old. Now, I'll try to put a picture up. I can't promise anything, but he's a very, very beautiful dog, but he's just, he's a very old dog. Um, so that's going to be hard, but, um, you know, I've just not been in the mood. I've just not been in the right side mind to upload things on Instagram, to upload things on Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, like, when New Year's came around, I started to post things on on TikTok, but then I stopped. Um, I listened to a lot of books, but I haven't been. I've just been going through a slump this month in January just because um, I don't know, after Christmas, you know, I think everybody goes through it. But I've been going through this for, let's say, a year or a couple months now. I got out of a really bad relationship and my mental health went downhill after that because of what he did. And um, he did a lot like he told my car and I had to get a new car so I was dealing with that last summer and I couldn't do trails last summer and it's just just so much and I just I'm trying to work on my YouTube stuff but my YouTube stuff ain't going viral my TikToks you know they sometimes don't go viral um my podcast here I'm trying to work on that and it just it, everything's just taking a toll on me and it's just like whoa like I gotta step back and say you know maybe I'm doing this the wrong way or I'm just not doing it the right way and my mental health has just been like going one end to the other end and to you know and um all i've been doing is just laying and sleeping getting up sending the kids off to school even my kids have um been acting up and um been getting really nasty and everything like that with me if i said nasty i'm sorry but um my son liam he he's going very through a really break a breakup with a girl he very much loved and he's been going through a lot, so he's not been really able to talk about it. And I can feel that he's like that. I can feel the tension on him because of it. And um, I don't know if any parents are listening to this, but I think you know how what I mean. Like when a child dates a, like a girl or a guy or whatever, and you have a like I go through rough breakups too. Like I was with a man for a year and a half, and he was mentally, emotionally abusive towards me. And he really took a toll on my mental health to the point to where I just wouldn't do anything. And then he would make fun of me because of my YouTube channel, because of my podcast. And then he'll make nasty comments. Like, 
that whole thing. And then it just turned me off of doing YouTube and doing all that stuff. So when I decided that I was just going to say, you know, screw it, I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to like let somebody tell me what I can and cannot do. I just did it. But then my mental health got back up there. I applied for a place to live. I didn't get in. I felt like I was failing. I felt like I couldn't do anything. And yeah, like it was just so much stuff going on. And I, I, I'm not complaining or any of that stuff, guys. I'm not. It's just like, you know, it's very hard for me to talk about this stuff to you guys or to anybody because I just don't know what people are going to say and I don't know how people are going to react because I really don't want confrontation. I don't want any of it. And it's very hard for me to talk about things because people are very opinionated and people will say what they want to say. So if you want to say something, go right ahead. But, you know, if you don't like the truth, then don't listen to my episode. Don't listen to it at all. Because this year, I want to do more episodes on things like this. This isn't just me losing the weight. It's me trying to come out of my comfort place and come out of my comfort zone and everything like that. So um, that's what I want to do. But I, I have to work on that and I have to do something about it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But, like, my mental health has just been, so, like I was saying, like, I got a new phone, like, the man that I was dating, I got a new phone, I got a Samsung Galaxy A53, I got a new one, and this is my new, um, this is one of my backdrops, it's, um, it's my, uh, one of my, uh, uh, vision boards, like, I want to go traveling this year. I want to get organized in my room because my room is just out. I want to go back to the gym. I want to um, spend more time with my kids. I want to get a place to live. You know, those are my those are my goals. But at the same time, getting out of debt, um, paying bills off, getting this up and going, my podcast. You know, just doing all that. But I have to have the mental. I have to have the the mental stableness and the um, eye vision of doing it and what I want to do, so that you know I can reach my goal. But if I don't have that, how am I supposed to do it? And if I don't do it, then that means I, I can't, I'm contradicting myself and I can't really contradict myself if I'm not going to do it. So yeah, like that's pretty much everything, like not everything, but pretty much a lot of things that have been going on with my mental health. Like I just been, I went through therapy last year, the year before and everything like that. I haven't been back to therapy, but I'm going to be back to therapy, but it's through my doctor because I get six free appointments because I can't afford the therapy appointments and that so yeah like um mental like my mental health has really taken a bad toll but i'm trying my best to um to overcome it like just to get out of that slump get out of all of that you know i don't even go out anymore i don't go places and when i don't even want to go anywhere tonight i'm going to see a movie with my kids i'm going to see avatar and let me tell you something it's going to be hard for me to go out because i just don't want to I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit in bed, lay in bed, and sleep. That's all I want to do. And I think a lot of people can agree with me. That's the only thing that some people want to do is because of that. And, you know, just talking right here on my podcast is like, and my YouTube channel, it's, it's, it's very hard for me. But I'm hoping if I can talk about it, then other people will talk about it. And then I think, you know, we can there's an awareness out there that, you know, people go through this. There's a lot of mental health awareness, but, but yeah, it's not pure laziness. It's just depression and anxiety. And, and then my daughter, you know, she's 12 years old. She's having panic attacks. Every time she goes to school, she has a panic attack. Every time she comes home, she has a panic attack. So I've been dealing with that and it's just been stressing me out. But, um, she has a counselor at school that she's talking to about what's going on with her. And I'm hoping that works for her. But my, 12 year old daughter who is only 12 has mental health is issues and um she has very bad anxiety so i'm hoping that we can deal with this but after i'm done doing this hot episode i just go to bed and lay down and relax and watch tv because that's what i'm gonna do right but i live like i just i don't know i might be just stressed out or is it just me or anything like that but when you start thinking too much, you just can't really function. So, yeah. Pretty much that's what's going on lately. Sorry, I had to take a drink of my, my water. But, like I said, like, 
my mental health matters to me, but how am I dealing with it? I'm not dealing with it. I'm not at all. I'm just, tell you the truth, I'm just taking it one step at a time and trying not to screw up and, or fuck up or any of that stuff because hell, if I screw up or any of that stuff, I'll feel bad that, oh, I could have done this. Like I look back on how many years I've been doing YouTube and I only have 42 subscribers and I have a book channel that only has eight subscribers and I have a fitness channel that I don't even do anything on. And that was supposed to be my uh, fitness journey of me losing weight. I don't do anything to lose weight. I eat sweets. I have a sweet tooth right now and it's really bad. And I think it's just because I'm going through something and I just need to deal with it. But I am just trying to be truthful. Like I'm, I'm really screwing up. Yesterday I went, paid off half of my membership that I owed on a gym. Cause I think if I go back to the gym, it will help me, but I really just don't know. Um, you know, with everything that's been going on in the world, I, it's all been getting to me and, and everything. And I guess that maybe I just need to sit back and just allow myself to overcome it or something like that. But I don't know what to do because I'm just so, so pissed off. And, you know, I did a reset video on Jan for January and I haven't followed any of it. I haven't done anything, really not much. <laughs> And I think I just need to step back, sit back or step back at stand back and, um, just say, look at like, this is what I was even working and I never got a call back to come back because I really don't know. I was working before Christmas and then the snowstorm came and then Christmas came and, and everything like that. And I, and I'm not working anymore. Like, come on here. Like, what am I supposed to say about that? That really is upsetting, but I'm not going to talk about that more. Um, the girl I was working for was really nice to me, so I just don't know what happened. And I asked her if I still had a job, and um, she just won't tell me. So I'm not going to say anything else. But I just feel like if I don't do this, I'm going to fail. And if I do it, I can fail. I, I don't know. Sorry, that was my head. Um, I, I just really don't know. Like, If I do it, I can exceed. If I don't do it, then that's another thing. But what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to do it or not do it? Like, I'm I'm not making it on YouTube like I want to. And I'm okay with that. But um, I'm not making it on my podcast. Neither am I making it on, on anything else. And it's just like, you know, Canadians don't even get paid for TikTok. You could be a creator on TikTok and make millions and millions of views and you don't get paid on TikTok, and it's like going, i'm not complaining it's just like whoa you have to go to youtube and you got to have so many views on youtube to be be monetized and to have all of that and sometimes you might not even be able to get monetized because and then just that starts going through your head negativity um not positivity um manifesting and things like that i want to try to start manifesting I want to start doing things, writing things down that I want. So I made a vision board. I want my own place. I want to be debt free. I want to get a tattoo. I want to take better selfies. I want to take better pictures. I want to work on my social media stuff. You know what I mean? Like that's what I want to do. But if I don't do it, then I feel like I'm, I feel as a, as a, as a human being or as a person in general, because, um, I maybe put videos up maybe every three weeks and I'm supposed to be putting videos up on my vlog channel Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Friday is supposed to be the podcast episode, but now I've changed it to three weeks because I don't want to, because I have not had, I don't have a lot to talk about every week because there's nothing to report. I don't go to the gym. I don't go on my treadmill. I don't do any of that stuff because it's just, just lazy. So yeah, like it's it's difficult but i have to get through it but if i don't get through it then who am i right but um then it like just so much like i just i don't know what to say like i'm just baffled because i should be doing this and i have to explain myself all the time and i shouldn't have to but then that makes me feel like why am i doing this like shouldn't i just go out and get a normal job but when you don't have the when you don't have like i said on my last my last um episode on body shaming i had a resume thrown at my face by a manager when i was younger and they told me i was the type of person they wanted working for their company because i look different than the other employees or other person that comes in 
and it's like that really turns you off sometimes it really turns you off working but at the same time it's like going the employers out there that think this stuff is wrong like i've i've lost a job because my dear old cousin that i don't talk to anymore took the job away and what did that make me feel like i failed as a person i failed as a parent I failed as a you know as a human being because i couldn't keep that job and i wasn't even there for a year um then it happened to me again and it was like going oh my goodness like i need i need extra money coming in through the month i just can't live off of this income like i need extra money and yeah so i didn't know at the time that you could do youtube and you could do a pot like podcast wasn't big back in 2000 early 2000s um at all and i wasn't listening to anything so i didn't know that you, like i was listening to the radios and i knew you had to go to school become a radio person and go to college for it and everything like that but i didn't know you can do it from your own home now and when i found out through shelton church because i watched her videos that's when i decided that hey maybe i should talk about what's going on with me maybe i should talk about my mental health maybe i should talk about my weight loss journey on what i'm going through maybe my struggle maybe people might like to listen to it you know and I've been grateful that people have been listening to my podcast, but I just haven't had that much views or much listens on my podcast. So I'm hoping that if I can get out of this funk in February, that I can like do all this. But in January, I'm fine because I do like, I'm not going to use my disability. I'm not going to use my ADHD as an excuse, but I find every time maybe in December, starting in November, I go into a real funk where I just don't want to do anything. And I just want to, to sit around and be lazy. And by the way, this is my just strong. I'm an ambassador for it. I'll leave the code down below. They do carry plus sizes. So that's even better. So, but no, like I was saying, like it, 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 I just get into this funk where I just don't want to do anything. And I try to do it and I just lose interest in it. Like I have a video that I'm doing with my sister of audiobooks, but I'm still working on it. I'm on my third book. I'm on the legend board, but I just not in the mood to listen to anything. Like, seriously. Like, I just, I'm trying to get out of the funk. I'm just, I'm going to call it the funk, but I, I can't. I just can't pull myself out of it. And I just, that's when my mental health comes into factor, is that I get very depressed and I just want to sleep. I don't, you know, I just log around and send the kids off to school and that's it. That's all I do. And I don't want to do any appointments. I don't want to go to the doctors. I don't want to do any of that. So I switched appointments to next month over. But then I get into the funk again. And it's just a circle. I keep going around in a big, huge circle. And that's what I do. And it's like going, I got to stop the circleness. I got to stop going around the circle. If I want to exceed, if I want to do something, you know, I got to do it. I just can't just, I just can't not do it i gotta try to do it and if i fail at it at least i can say is that hey i did this you know i i tried this but it got the better of me and i can't do this so i'm not gonna do this anymore i'm just gonna sell everything and i'm just gonna move on so that is the major thing like me trying to do youtube is me trying to exceed at it and showing to myself that i can do it but then i get to the point where i just want to sleep all the time or i want to you know I haven't even done another video, guys, for my extreme makeover in my room. Like, I switched my TV out. I switched my bed out. Um, I want to get a new desk. I need to get a better bookshelf, a better dresser, because I share a dresser with my sister. Not my sister, my daughter, because I share a room with my 12-year-old daughter. So, so much has just changed in the last, since 2019 to 2000 to 2020 when the pandemic started. So, so much has changed with me. But, you know, just trying my best to be a good parent to be a good friend to be a good daughter to be a good sister it's hard i don't have any friends which is fine with me but there's certain there's reasons behind that and i don't want to talk about it but like i said i just i don't know like i just <laughs> i technically don't know i'm not trying to laugh because i think there's a lot of people that are going through this in, in the world today but we're coming out of a pandemic and just things on inflation are going up. It's getting too expensive to live. It's just too much. And trying to find a place to live is getting harder by the minute. Trying to do anything is getting harder. But I'm not planning. I'm just doing it. Like I'm taking the kids to a movie. And even though I didn't have the money for that, I had to force the money to be there. 
because I want, I promised my kids and my niece a movie tonight. So we're going to see Avatar. And that's the thing that I have to do is I have to just make the money be there. So what I'm going to be doing in February just to help my mental health and help the budgets because I got things I got to pay for. Like this phone, I, I got it from MDG. So I got to pay for it. I got thirteen ninety five coming out of my account every month. I have a new computer that I'm using for my podcast. I have to have money come out. So I got to, you know, make sure the money's there because I'm trying to fix my credit. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm just trying my best to come out of the funk, to get out of it. And, you know, me saying funk doesn't mean anything because it's just, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I just think that, I just think that maybe, you know, if I, I was just a bunch of books. I just think maybe if I just breathe in and breathe out and slowly do it and just figure out what I need to do during the day and everything like that, um, I'll be able to do it. But if I can't figure out which one thing to do, like I want to do a vlog, I want to do an extra make, like I want to show you guys the result of my room in a video and I'm going to in a vlog like I have picture frames with these little pictures I've seen a lot of youtubers use and I want to you know I, just, I I have to get out of my I have to get out of the funk that I'm in I have to get out of the state of mind I'm in I have to start thinking positive I can't think negative and right now my mind is going negative and I mean negative like I'm like thinking oh I'm never gonna get this out. I'm never gonna be able to make it on YouTube I'm never gonna be making it on TikTok or Instagram or any of that I'm not gonna be able to because nobody wants to see what I'm putting out there. Nobody wants to see that. And that's what goes through my head, mind. And I think that's my major problem with my mental health is because I've always been told that I can't do anything. And I actually do believe that. I started believing that when I was younger. And it was like going, well, then I guess that maybe this is the way things are going to go, right? But I'm just so baffled with the way things have turned out for myself. But at the same time, I'm the only one who can change it, who can actually change it and be able to function. If I don't change it, then who's going to change it for me? It's only going to be me. So I'm hoping when I do my reset video for February that I follow everything. I have these books that I have that I bought some stuff off of Etsy, like I said, that um, I want to do. And I started it last year. And there's a budget and then there's a way that you can put money away like five bucks like eight aloe folds and then put some money in a jar and then save up you'll be able to do that if you do it right but me no i i have two kids that want to get things and if i don't have the money for it they get mad but at the same time i have to learn how to save more money so yeah <laughs> and i am but mental health is so so big out there that you know, I can't self-diagnose myself, but I have had a therapist who's told me that I have PTSD because I had a lot of trauma growing up when I was a kid, but I'm not going to say I have PTSD because I haven't been diagnosed with it by the doctors, but I've been told by a therapist who I had, who I was talking to, that I have PTSD. And I have a little bit of depression, but I've never been diagnosed. Okay, guys, I've been diagnosed with ADHD, but I've never been diagnosed with depression or PTSD. Now, if I have a form of PTSD, maybe I should go talk to somebody and get a psych done and, and things like that to be able to know that. But, and I might do that. I might talk to the doctor about it on February 6th when I see him. Like, come on here. Like, if I have PTSD, maybe I should deal with it. But with everything that's gone on, I should, I should, be, should deal with it. But maybe I just still want to realize that I have a problem. Or maybe I have to realize it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But no, like, I just been not able to do anything, not able to get up and do anything. I just not been in the mood. I just been so depressed, sleeping, not working out, gaining weight, um, things like that. You know, I have plans. I got it in a book. I have ideals for videos. I have ideals for everything. Like I do the book of the month and I haven't even done that video yet because I just not been in the mood. I have the books I read last year that I have to do the video for, but I just have not been in the mood. So today it's taken a lot for me to do this because I had to pick my daughter up from school, school today, but that, sorry, my, my jaw keeps, I think my, 
my ears cracking or something. So yeah, like, um, sorry about this guys. My phone, my camera kept, so, but yeah, like I was saying, like, it's just completely stupid and dumb. Um, but I just like, I'm just fed up with everything that's going on in my life. I'm the only one who can change it. And I'm the only one who can, um, um, stop myself from changing. I have to change myself. And nobody else can do it for me. Sorry if you hear that beeping noise. It's me trying to delete videos from my camera because my camera died. My camera just stopped recording on me. And I have to do this so I can get back on. And everything like that. So the vi this video... So this video will be, um, well, I can do it now. I think I can do it now. Sorry about the silence. But yeah, like, um, but like I was saying, like, just my mental health has just been a taking a toll on me. And I have to get bigger memory sticks. I just don't know how to do that. Oh yeah, I found some on Amazon, so. I'm going to do that. That's the other thing. Like, I bought two box, two mystery boxes from Amazon, and it was like, yeah, they were a scam. You know, these scams that go around online, don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe anything you see. Don't buy it. Because that's even disappointing when it comes in. You're like, well, well I was expecting this, but I got this instead, you know? And then the, the way the things come in, and they smell really bad and everything like that. That's... But no, like, um, it's... It's really hard, but you just have to move on from it, from that stuff. And I have, and I just take it as it is. And I gotta stop buying Instagram stuff because it's not actually legit that. But yeah, like, you know, not being noticed on YouTube is just really, really hard. But I'm trying my best to deal with it, um, just to cope with it and to be able to help myself. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know, like, well, my camera dying made me just go blank. Mind blank. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But like I was saying, if I really, really, really want something, I should work for it and just get off my ass. Do it. Not let my mental health affect me. Not let anything affect me. Just do it and just stop, you know? Making excuses, making complaining about it. Just do it because it's not worth complaining about it when you can't even try it. You got to try it to be able to know if you can do it. And if you fail at it, at least you can look back and say, hey, by the way, I tried that, you know, but it didn't work for me, but it could work for you. It's like with keto. It's like when I did keto, I can't do keto because it's high in cholesterol. It's high in fat. It's high in a lot of things. But if I can move on from that and do try something else and say, hey, well, this worked for me, but keto didn't work for me. But this person comes up to me and says, well, keto worked for me and it made me feel like, well, it didn't work for me. I had to try something different, right? So that, that's, I'm not using keto as a definition or an example. I'm just saying like keto is not working for me because it's a high fat kind of thing. So I'm trying other things. Like I'm eating avocado toast. I'm going to try to do, that's the other thing I'm going to do this year is prepping meals because that's what I want to do. And I'm going to start that in February. But just trying to do all that and everything like that. It's hard. I haven't even written in my journal because I just haven't been in the mood to get things off my mind. Because it's just been like, yeah, well, you know, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do any of it. But I have to, and I know I do. And I, I got to stop making complaints, and I got to stop complaining and say, just do it. Don't let your mental health destroy you. Like, don't let your mental health destroy you. Don't let your mental health control you or any of that stuff. Just do it. Because you don't know if it's not going to work out. So, yeah, like, <laughs> I, I know I gotta do it. But at the same time, I, I know that I have to um, try. And if I don't try, then, yeah. But anyhow. So I'm hoping that in three weeks, two weeks or three weeks, I'll be doing another episode. I do get them ready a week before um, what I'm going to talk about because I get it in my mind. If I can't get it on my mind, I will be able to sleep. So this one I wanted to do because... I wanted to talk about my mental health. I know a lot of people don't like talking about it. 
they don't like talking about it because they don't know what people are going to say. So if you have anything negative to say about me or anything stupid to say, don't don't say anything at all. Because I'm not going to deal with it. I don't care. And I don't care what you think. And I have to have that point of view. I have to have that kind of attitude with you guys because of the fact that if I don't, then you guys are just going to say mean things. And if you want to say mean things, go right ahead. I did a video on why I won't buy a car offline. I'm not saying you can't do it. But I won't do it because I had a bad experience with it. So telling me that that one thing is like it only works with your income or your credit. It's wrong because I got screwed and now I'm stuck with a, a vehicle of 2018 that I'm paying $48,000 for. So who gives someone the right to tell me that it only works with my income when I got screwed? Okay, thank you for telling me that. But I know I got screwed. And I know that's the only thing I can get with my income and my credit rating. But I know in maybe three to four years from now, I can trade it in and get something better. But I can't do that until I pay some of that loan down. And that's what I'm doing. But if, if, if you're going to say you're going to do something, just do it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Because I've always been told that. But I think that's the problem with me. I have it in my mind. Oh, well, I want to do this, but I can't do it. Oh, I want to do that, but I can't do it. And that takes a toll on my mental health. That takes a toll on me. And that takes a toll on everything that I'm trying to do in my life with social media. It is hard trying to make it on social media. Let me tell you something. It is hard because if you don't do the right content, if you don't do the right stuff, people will not notice you. You know, if your thumbnails aren't perfect, if your videos aren't perfect, if you don't know how to edit, and you, like, you don't have to know how to edit. You could edit and learn how to edit. That's what I'm doing. But I'm just saying, like, I've had good comments on my videos. I've done trails where I've taken a full hour. Like, I did trails back in this. I was supposed to go this weekend, and I'm hoping to go this weekend to do a trail, to finish up a trail that I'm doing in Orange County, in Orange, Orangeville, Ontario, to be able to um, put that video up and say, hey, this is the final video for this, for this um, trail. There's, like, three trails in the midst of them. And... We did the one with the hills. We did like all of it. Like if you go to my channel, you'll see them all where I did trails in. And it's, it's actually relaxing and it helps your mind guys. It helps your mind relax. It helps your mind get to settling. I find walking in on the trails, even recording it and everything like that. It helped me. And when I was doing it, I enjoyed it. And the only reason I stopped was because my ex, and I, I'll link that video down because that those pictures are on that video. Totaled my car, beat on it to the point where it was written off. And I know that it's this is that's going to be a trigger if you've ever had that done to you. Like I'm still trying to deal with it. I'm still trying to cope with that. I'm still trying to like deal with everything that he's done to me. And it's hard because my mental health comes in effect. And then it's just like whoa, you know. But you know, I just I just got to look at myself and go, you know, I can't let people control me. I can't let people tell me what to do. And I know that I shouldn't, but I do. Um, as for the place to live, I, like, I get told, well, I should stay with my parents for the rest of my life. No, I want to have my own place. I want to have my own privacy. I want to be able to sit in my living room without anybody there except my kids. I want to be able to have a movie night with my children. I want to be able to do all that stuff. I have to go out and do that and spend money because I want, like, I should be able to have my own time in my own house. And that really takes a, men a toll on my on my mentalness, on my mental health. And I'm going to keep saying that. Um, and I shouldn't have to stay where I am if I'm not happy here. And I'm not happy here. I'm not happy at all. I want to be out on my own. That's what I want. And I'm going to get it this year. And when I do get it, I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to keep it. I even want to buy a house. Like, come on here, I want to buy a house. I want to, I want to do all that. But every time I turn around, I'm like, oh, I can't do that. I can't do it. You know, I can't do it because I can't get a good paying job. Or I can't make it on YouTube. Or I can't do that. You know, things just start going through my mind. And it's like, what am I going to do? How am I going to save money to put a down payment on a house when the house rates are going for 700 to 400 to 800,000 now? And it's like, I'm not going to buy a house worth $1.2 million on my income because I won't fucking get it. I won't. I might get a house that's like two to three hundred thousand, but I will not get a house that's worth one point five million dollars on my income, and I know that by a fact. 
And that is depressing to know that. And it's depressing to know that my kids will never be able to own a house more likely. And if they if they ever buy a house, I'll be so happy for them because I'd be like, "You did it, kids. I'm proud of you." And I'm I'm I'll be so happy for them because they'd be moving on with their lives. They'd be, you know, all of it and everything. And I'm, I'm just so happy for them. But at the same time, I'd be like, going, "Wow, they're in their twenties and they got a house." Why didn't I do that? Why did I screw up my credit card? Why, you know, going back to the negativity. But at the same time, I'm more likely to be owning a condo or apartment or something like that. And that's the sad part. Who can afford the rent these days? That's even the other thing that's depressing. Who can afford to move out on their own with the way the rent is? People have to resort to entire housing. People have to resort to all this to be able to pay for cheap rent. And that is wrong. We should be able to live out in the normal world. We should be able to live in a nice home, be able to pay good rent, pay bills and everything, and be able to live our lives comfortably and normal. But no, nobody sees it that way. And then mental health comes into effect and we're depressed. We don't want to do anything. We're working all the time. We have no time for our families. We have no time for our kids. And we're paying all of our money to the landlord and not having any money for our children or food. Or paying our bills. Our bills have to go on the side to pay our rent because our landlord decides, oh, we're going to raise the rent to 16. You're paying, what, 1700 Oh, I'm going to raise it to $2,000. I can't afford that. And you're going to raise my rent? I, all of that stuff goes through my head when it comes to trying to look for a place to work. And now I look on Facebook and it's all rooms for rent. Like, are you serious? I got two kids. I don't want to rent a room. I want to rent a full house. I can't go into housing because the lessons are like 20 to 30 years. And my kids are going to be full grown by the time I get into housing. Like, come on here, people. What are you doing with the society we have today? And hiring the rent like you guys are. I I heard that someone who was paying $2,000 rent. And they, and they raised it to $2,400. And now they have to move. And they can't afford it. And they have a good paying job, but they're giving all their money to the landlord. Why their kids go without and why she, go, why they go without. So our children go without and you guys go with. That just doesn't make sense. And someone please explain to me why that happens. And that's why we, and I'm sorry for saying this, that's why we have a homeless issue. It's because nobody can afford to live. And I know that I'm going to get a lot of flack for saying that. But if you're not going to lower the fucking rent, why should we rent from you? If you're not going to look after the house, why should we rent from you? You want us to pay the bills? We're practically paying your mortgages. And we don't own the houses. You do. But you guys don't care. Because it's money. And that's all it is. It's all about money. But anyhow, I'm going to end this episode. But that's how I feel. And that's what goes through my mind when I'm trying to look for a place to live. It's like... Am I paying this person's mortgage? Are they? Do they have their their rent this much because they don't want to pay the mortgage? They want the tenant to pay the mortgage? Whoa! <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not paying nobody's mortgage. You can come up with half of it. I'll pay half. That's how it goes, people. I will not pay twenty five to six hundred six thousand. I can't even afford six thousand dollars for rent or three thousand. Or two thousand. I can afford fourteen hundred for a three bedroom, but I can't afford what you're asking for, and that's what's going through my mind, and that's why my mental health is up to like over the top of my head. <laughs> but so yeah, and that's why. But anyhow, my dog is barking. If you can hear him, I do live with my family, so if you heard anything in the background, I am so sorry. Um, I've never done a forty minute um podcast. I don't think it's going to be a 40 minute on the video guys because it camera died in the middle but i tried but anyhow i hope you liked this episode about my mental health and everything that i blabbed about and i'm sorry if you took offense to what i was saying and yes if you have to if you have a problem with any of that stuff who cares i don't care that's my opinion i'm gonna stick to it but i'm gonna end this right now and put this up and edit the video and I hope you like it. So like, subscribe, and notification.
Thank you. Thank you guys so much for listening. Okay, come on. Go to 40 minutes. Go to 40 minutes. <laughs>